Hello and good morning everyone. My name is Janae. Welcome to Diamond Painting Reviews by Janae. Today's video is part two of the Dreamers Design paintings that I've purchased and this painting is a beautiful Christmas painting. So I'm looking forward to showing you this and this painting was purchased because I'm hoping to do a Christmas event in the Facebook group Crafty Things by Janae and Island Girl. Now the details will come up later in another video, but this painting is most likely the one that I'm going to be doing. I'm looking forward to that and I love Christmas. Just love it. So let's take a look at this painting and see what I have. And again, I hope everyone is having a great day today and uh, staying safe. All that wonderful stuff. It's been really, really warm here in Winnipeg, which is great. I love it. But, you know, the thought of even thinking about Christmas kind of makes me cringe. And actually, we're not that far away. That's the scary part. All right. So again, if you're new to diamond painting, um, Dreamers Designs has the six steps to diamond painting on the back of their box. They also have some information in regards to the content in the box right here. Um, why to diamond paint right through here. And I really like the fact that they ship their product in a bigger box. So all of their products seem to come in a nice pristine box. It's not flattened. It's not squashed. I know it's a box, but I like to point that out because it's really nice to be able to receive your kits and they're not scrunched or you don't have to do canvas repair, you know, all that wonderful stuff. So let's crack this box open and show you which painting I got here. And I'm really excited about uh, doing another Dreamers Design painting. So the first one I did was, it just was phenomenal. It was really nice to work with. Okay, now if I can get it out, there we go. So again, Dreamers Designs packs their product in this nice tote bag. And <clears throat> I really like it. It's a really nice bag. I can, you can pretty much store just about anything in this bag. It's really nice. All right. Um, so here's your canvas, your toolkit, bag one of drills, and bag two of drills. And I think that's everything. Yep. All right, so let's look at their toolkit really quick. Again, it comes in a really nice, soft, velvety pouch, and it comes with two white trays with a spout, two comfort grips, two wax caddies with wax, uh, two single placer pins, also comes with, <clears throat> I think that's a nine placer and a three placer and a row straightener and a lot of Ziploc bags. And then they also have this really nice heavy duty tweezers. Again, um, they are pointy, they can be sharp. So when you're not using them, please, please remember to put your plastic tip back on so you don't hurt yourself. All right, so let's put this back Oops. quickly, if there's such a thing as called quickly. <laughs> All right, um, it's really early in the morning. <laughs> I, have to, I haven't had enough coffee. Um, that one there. But I really do like this little bag that they put their tools in. It's very soft. All right, so there we go. Okay, we're going to move these over to the side. 
and we'll get to those drawers in just a minute. So let's take a look at this beautiful canvas. So excited! <laughs> All right. I've said this before. Their canvas is similar to Diamond Dots. And boy, this canvas does not want to do that. It's like, no. All right. I don't know why it's having a problem this morning, but there we go. I really like the fact that they roll their canvas on this, and I it's really not necessary given that this is poured glue, but it's nice that they do that because um, it really helps support that canvas when it's traveling. Also comes with this really nice schematic here that um, is, you can cut that up, put it on your storage container system, or if you use Ziploc bags, you can actually tape them on the Ziploc bag. They're really, really nice. Also, too, if you don't want to cut this up, you can always put it off to the side and use it as a reference as you're working with your project. Now, this painting, oh my gosh, has 53 colors. <laughs> Lots of colors. So that should pretty much tell you what artist this is. It's going to have lots of confetti. <laughs> All right, let's open this up and see what we have here. I want to make sure I have it where you guys can see it. So there it is. Isn't that pretty? Oh, this is going to be really nice to do. So this is called, oops, Faith Runs Deep. This is an illustration from Chuck Penson and it is a 90 by 60. It is a full square drill. And as I said, 53 colors. Woo! <laughs> Lots of color in this one. So, wow, isn't that pretty? I'm gonna try to get the glare out, but isn't that gonna be beautiful? Oh my gosh. I saw this one and I was like, okay. <laughs> when I noticed that Dreamer's design was, um, was bringing in Chuck Penson, artwork. I was like, oh no. <laughs> now I've got two places to go to get these. These are just gorgeous paintings. So a Dreamer's Designs has a really nice canvas. As I said before, it reminds me of Diamond Dots. I'm not sure why. I just their canvas feels like Diamond Dot canvas. Um, it's beveled edged all the way around and that will help keep the canvas from fraying. So Dreamers Designs, they have their warranty logo here, paint with passion on the bottom here, and then they have their Dreamers Designs, oops, sorry, <laughs> their Dreamers Design logo right there. Also, they have a legend on both sides of the painting, on the top, and I'm just gonna try to maneuver this so that you can see it. On top they have the thumbnail here and the um, information regarding the painting. So again, this is called Faith Runs Deep. It is, is legally licensed from Chuck Penson. And again, it is a 90 by 60. And then on this corner is all of their, and you can't see it there. Hold on. There we go. On this corner here, they have their social media information. So sorry, my table just is not big enough. <laughs> um, wow, this is gonna be really, really pretty. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to bring the camera down so that we can take a look at the clarity of the schematics and the clarity of the drill field. We'll be right back. All right, everyone, we're back, and <clears throat> sorry, it's really early in the morning. Um, so the schematics is very clear. We're going to pull this plastic sheet off far enough so that we can take a look without the glare. 
and as you can see it's very very clear I'm just gonna bring this up a little bit so you can see that so very clear symbols and as I said there are 53 colors in this painting and the painting I showed you before also has 53 colors just a huge amount of colors. Okay, and then let's look at the drill field. So as you can see, and I'm sorry my painting is cockeyed here, but um, unfortunately my table just can't support a painting this size. So as you can see, the symbols are very, very clear and very impressed. Um, now, let me see if I can find any, now you can see the R's are white. I'm just trying to see if there's any other white symbols here. And the reason why I'm looking for them is, I just wanna check something out. So I'm gonna bring this down again, because this canvas is just all over the place right now, because it's kinda of hanging off of the table and, so, the only one thing I had um, an issue with with Dreamers Designs was their white symbols, the um, one painting I did do. And the white symbols had a tendency of being a bit fuzzy. So I'm just trying to see if I can see if that issue was cleared up. Um, from what I can tell, I don't see any fuzzy symbols, so that's good. That's good. I think I'm going to see more once I have it under a light pad, but um, from what I can see, it looks very clear, and even the white symbols look much better than they did the last time. So, all right. So what we're going to do is we're going to flip this one over without hitting the camera. There we go. So everyone, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the camera so I can get these open and that way you don't have to listen to that creakly crackly sound. I'll be right back. All right, everyone, we're back and let's take a look at some of these colors here. So we've got some orange creamsicle here. Oops. And some white. And then this is their AB, which is a pastel yellow. Really pretty. Look at that sparkle. Okay, and then we have some mauves. An off-white. And a chocolate brown. Some rust red. Hot pink. Some brick red there and some greens. Now, this is a grayish blue. Some purple. Love me some purple. Brick red. Some bluish gray there, a lighter bluish gray, and some deep purple there. Really pretty. Wow. All right, so we've got some more red here with a hitchhiker, olive green, gray. Some tan. Ooh, is that? No, that's a dark, dark green. That is not 310. Ooh, look at that. Mm, that's got to be 550. Yep, 550. Some dark grays. Another, um, hmm. That actually is another, almost like a creamsicle color. Pretty. 
and some coral, a dark coral there. And then we've got some more gray, another off-white, some brick red here, brick colors, mauve, a light gray, pastel yellow. Ooh, look at that. That's pretty. Really bright yellow there. That's a bright orange. Really pretty colors, and they're very, very vibrant. So we've got some mobs, some light grays again. Looks like an off-white. That is a light brown, dark gray, and a medium blue. It's pretty. That's a nice purple. Wow. And another mauve. Lots of mauves in this color. So we've got three bags of this color. Actually, four. And we've got a nice tan here. It's a little bit dark coral. A dark brown. A dark mauve. That's pretty. And that's even darker. And a lighter mauve. So those are really two pretty colors. All right. So again, I'm going to pause the camera so I can bring everything back up. We'll take one more look at this canvas. We'll be right back. All right, everyone, we are back. And again, this is from Dreamers Designs. It is a 90 by 60 full square drill, 53 colors, 1AB. And it's going to be really, really pretty when it's completed. So again, um, this painting is going to be part of a Christmas event that will be going on and hosted by the Facebook group Crafty Things by Janae and Island Girl. All the details for that event will be coming up in another video soon. So I hope that all of you will be interested in participating. It's going to be fun. Prizes will be uh, given out. And again, that is the Facebook group Crafty Things by Janae and Island Girl. The link to the Facebook group, if you're interested in not only participating, but joining the group, we would love to have you, will be down below in the description, and I hope to see you guys there. So by saying that, everyone, I'm going to go ahead and end the video. If you enjoyed the video, please let me know by hitting that thumbs up button. I would greatly appreciate it. Also, if you're new to the channel, a big howdy and welcome. If you like what you see and you like what you heard, I hope you'll consider subscribing to the channel. If you do decide to subscribe, please don't forget to hit the bell that is right next door to that subscribe button. That bell is going to let you know when I've uploaded my next video. So by saying that, everyone, if it is morning for you, have a very pleasant morning. If it's afternoon for you, have an excellent rest of your afternoon. And if it's evening for you, have a very relaxing evening. Again, my name is Janae. Thank you for spending some time with me today on the review. We'll talk again real soon. Take care, everyone. Bye for now.